hello there guys, my name is Fat Angel, and today I just wanna uh, make a tutorial, but first of all I just wanna say sorry for the mic quality. My Blue Snowball is decided to be difficult, so I have to record with my webcam mic, which probably isn't as good, but it's still not bad. So anyways, I'm gonna go over a really quick effect that a few of my subscribers asked for in a PM. So it's pretty easy, it's, uh, it's just this little chromatic aberration effect after the shot, and it's actually a lot simpler than you guys think. So let's get straight into this um, tutorial. So first thing you're going to go to After Effects, okay, and I just have a little uh, sample here. Lines up with the triple and it gets the kill. And as you can see, um, it has this little chromatic aberration type of thing on the gun and like around some parts of the map and then it kind of just like fades out. And so it's called S Warp, S Time Warp RPG and two reasons why it fades out, I keyframed it, but even if I take off the keyframes, let me just do it, it still fades out, and that's because I have Twixter on it, so the slower it gets, the less frames it has to read. So you can, if you like, see there was a tiny bit of a like, little like, twitch stuff, but then it goes away. So yeah, I'll just show you guys how to do this real quick. So let me just go ahead and make a new adjustment layer, I'll delete this one. So, first thing you're just going to do is find the marker where they shoot, okay? And then where he takes the shot, and then a little bit afterwards just put the Twixter there. So you probably want to use this effect with Twixter, just because it looks a lot nicer. You can keyframe it yourself, but I like it when it kind of fades off by itself gradually because it's um, automatic and it doesn't look um, as bumpy as it would if you did it manually. So I'm just going to make a new adjustment layer and just going to go to my effects tab and go to Sapphire Time, uh, S underscore Time Warp R RGB. So it is a Sapphire plugin, I'm sorry for those who don't have it, but um, some guy that I know, he's working on getting a Mac version up and running. So when that is ready for you guys, I will definitely get, let you guys know. So basically, you just put it on, and that's all you gotta do. No joke. And if you don't use it on Twixter layer, then no worries. Just let me just show you guys how to do it without Twixter. See, you, you put it on, and as you can see, it um, still has some RGB stuff, right? Because it's still motion. So you just put it on, and then maybe a tiny bit after the shot, because you want it to affect the gun a bit more. You can go bang bang and then just go over a little bit and put these both to zero and then that's it. So that's how you do it. Um, there's and a few things you can do with this plugin as well. You can go ahead and adjust all these settings so you can make it more frames which I don't recommend doing. But what you could do is since the green shift frames is preset at zero you can make a negative one to add a different color scheme in here. So that's pretty cool. And also what you could do say if you want to I don't know, make it go black and white until the next shot. You just keyframe clamp chroma and then just go over until uh, that stuff's done. And you might want to keyframe um, your green shift as well. So let's go ahead and keyframe that and then go over here, bring to zero. Okay, and then just open up my keyframes and then maybe go a little bit after that, put this to zero. So, and then after the next shot, it would go back. So as you can see, it just kind of like has some cool effect and then it gets darker as the RGB stuff stops and it gets dark, just like that. So yeah, that's really about it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a pretty quick tutorial. Um, the only reason I did a really simple effect like this is because I haven't done a tutorial for a long time. So um, yeah, sorry about that guys. But I will be active once again now. So the few reasons why I wasn't active before, one being exams, another one being that I had to build this new computer. And uh, yeah, so I had to do quite a few things and now I'm up and running again. So if you guys have any tutorial suggestions, please leave them below. And try not to ask for tutorials on different videos because I don't want to make tutorials on you know videos that I didn't edit because I feel like I'm stealing effects or something. So just try to do stuff that I did, maybe like something from my coexistence edit or um, the new edit that I'm going to release in about a week. So uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and another thing is since I hit 5k recently, um, I'm going to do a quad contest with JR Evan or Evan IS uh, and Sync IS. So all my IS buddies and we're going to do a nice little quad contest and also hit 200,000 video views which is a lot if you guys think about it. So thank you guys for both of those big milestones and uh, yeah so quad contest will be up in a week or so maybe a bit less and uh, yeah so thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys another time with a new tutorial. See you guys and goodbye.